Okay, so we got the new engine here. Well, the other engine. And uh, I just got the valve cover off and the valve train. Put it inside the valve cover. But I took the uh, manifold off, and as you can see, so that hole is smooth, that one's smooth, and that one's completely messed up. Why? Because part of the manifold is stuck on the cylinder head. Or I mean, how did that, how does that work? See, that's missing stuff. That one, because that's how it's supposed to look. And that one's missing, st no, is it, get, yeah. Because this part's all deteriorated, and then this is extra stuff that shouldn't be there. And I think part of it is actually, part of it is these things, right here. So, I don't know how that's going to affect things. Let's go look at our giant um, collection of cylinder heads here and compare them. See, that's the problem right there. That's what they're all supposed to look like. See, they're supposed to have these things, and this. And that's how they all are supposed to be. So you've got one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? There's a fourth one, just believe me, it's here. Just don't know where. There's all the uh, pistons. Yeah, we've got um, more than one engine here, as you can see. That's my dad's engine. The uh, other one he has for his truck. Um... No, that one doesn't still have a cylinder head on it, so I don't know where the fourth one is, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, this thing is now halfway rusted into the manifold, and essentially it's missing. So, I don't know <laughs> if we can fix that, or if that's, uh, this head is now completely useless, which wouldn't be cool, but, yeah. I mean, I didn't use any ridiculous amount of force, I just tapped on it with uh, this crowbar thingy here and kind of stuck it inside there, wiggled it around a little bit it's not like I you know, smashed on it with a sledgehammer so yeah that's that's not good <laughs> hello in there that is not good there's some bits and pieces of it there's the other valve cover with uh, the valve train for that side in it I'm trying to get the uh, head bolts off. This one's good. This one's good. Uh, this one, the stud is turning instead of the bolt or the nut. So this whole thing, this metal piece that goes from here through the cylinder into the head, and then comes out here. This whole thing is turning. This one's good. This one's turning the stud, and that one's good. And then on the other side, it's three of each, so that's not necessarily, that's not good because on my engine, all the nuts came off without the studs, which is how it's supposed to go, but figured it out. And all the nuts on this manifold do not want to move, and I've sprayed them with my good friend down there, PB Blaster, and... So far it hasn't unstuck them yet, but, you know, give it some time and then try it again and go from there. And, yes, I don't think there's much more to update with. I mean, my engine is, uh, I don't even know where my engine is, you know? That's a good question as to where my block went. Hmm. Engine block. Oh, there it is. No, wait, that's my dad's. So what's this thing? Because that's not my block. Unless this is my, this is my block. So wait, then, no, those are my pistons. Those are not. Those are my pistons. Which makes more sense because you can see the chip out of the skirt on that one. So yeah, those are, that's my engine right there. That's my dad's engine. Okay. Still, why there are three heads here and none over there, I don't know. There's there's one missing, but I'm sure it's not actually missing, but I, it's not here right now. And that's a torque converter, if you've never seen one before. Alright, I'll figure something out. 